Hi guys, it's Tari again. Welcome back to this brand new video. Last time we talked about a lot of theories about what SMG4 could create, but to find out we had to wait until the end of the live broadcast. If you missed the first part, go watch it. The link is in the description. Anyway, let's start again. SMG4's live It's Gotta Be Perfect is finally over. I was able to record what happened when the timer went to zero, and now I will show it to you as well. As soon as I read this, I immediately went to SMG4's channel and saw that he had uploaded a video with a thumbnail that was quite creepy. The only thing we can see from this image is SMG4's desperate face with red eyes and darkness enveloping him. The video starts with a fairly creepy loading screen with even background sounds similar to what we could hear in the live broadcast. After it, we have a red marquee and Bob's voice explaining that SMG4 is to make a special announcement. But as soon as it opens, we see no one. Appearing on the screen is SMG3 who takes the place of the YouTuber and reads I think the KPON that SMG4 was to read during the video. He briefly announces to us that many of his fans have hated in the arc of this year the new design of some characters, especially Bookkins. SMG3 announces new designs for some characters, namely his, SMG4's, Bookkins, and Meggie's. Don't worry, we will talk more about them now and fully analyze them one by one. Let's talk now about SMG3's. At first impact, we do not notice many differences, but there are some. In general, the color of his bluish suit has changed and is closer to a purple. His eyes are now red, even the style of his beard has changed, and even his shoes, which changed from a plain brown to black with a skull, the same as the one on his hat. The last change in his style is his gloves, there is now a Roman numeral written on them, namely the number 3 indicating SMG3, and they are now both white and black. SMG4's style has also changed, but we do not have much difference from his old design. We have a little difference for the style of his hair and his clothes, and maybe even a very small facial change for the arrangement of his eyes and nose. In the rest, however, not much has changed, the old design was fine too. Now let's talk about the change in the character of Bookkins, which we had announced with a sentence from the character himself, namely, I guess I miss being a fish. I I guess I miss being a fish. And with a screenshot of the evolution of a Pokemon, we have a lot of differences from the old style of Bookkins, in fact he is almost unrecognizable. His build has changed, and there are details like the gills and fins that actually make it clear that he is a fish. His mouth has remained the same as before, but his eyes and hairstyle have changed. Also accentuated in the video is the change in Bookkins shoes, which SMG3 calls Weeb Shoes. For a second, we can see that the presenter takes Bob, but he immediately changes character and takes, in his place, Maggie. Do we have any major differences from the old design? No, but only one difference, the style of her face. Maggie's new appearance is more cartoonish unlike the old one, it might just be my impression. Now SMG3, accompanied by Maggie, finds himself in Princess Peach's castle and says he wants to make one last announcement but needs SMG4's help. Maggie reminds him that he is still a little crazy and the presenter hurls himself at the crazy YouTuber's door. However, the unexpected happens i.e. SMG4's door opens, which is quite impossible if we remember that in the old video they used the imaginable to try to open the YouTuber's door to no avail. But SMG3 in not even 10 seconds manages to open the door with four punches. The two characters see the conditions in which SMG4's room is filled with bottles and garbage. Maggie suggests to his friend to leave him alone, but SMG3 approaches the YouTuber and the only thing he shouts, with a graphic glitch effect, is the phrase, it's gotta be perfect. I would like to dwell for a moment on these few seconds of video. While SMG4 is shouting this phrase, we can notice two very important details namely his white eyes that perhaps refer to SMG zeros and the circle behind him filled with strange symbols of still unknown meaning, but we can clearly establish that most of them are eyes. I suppose SMG4, because of his obsession, to create the perfect video is under the control of SMG0 who wants to return to create the perfect world.
world, an issue that vaguely resembles that of Niles. The video ends with a peculiar announcement, namely a new film, It's Gotta Be Perfect, with the same title as it's live, and also announces as the release date of it on March 18. The letters that form the title of the film are similar to the symbols we can see in the circle surrounding SMG4, especially the G and O of Gada. I can thus announce that I was right in the last video, which was that this could be the beginning of either an arc or a movie. It is not yet known precisely what we might see in the new It's Gotta Be Perfect movie, in fact we were not even expecting new designs for SMG3, SMG4, Bookkins and Meggie. Although not necessarily necessary however every now and then a little change is good. So far, the star of all the videos and theories of all the YouTubers is SMG for the villain of this new movie. Rightly, I also agree, not to follow other people's theories, but because, as I already explained in the video, there are many symbols that make us remember SMG0 such as SMG4's white eyes and circle full of unknown symbols behind him. But also because, if we see the thumbnail of this video better, his face is overwhelmed with insanity and darkness that could be the presence of Zero taking over the consciousness of the now insane YouTuber. This, however, relates back to Watfi, War of Fat Italians, 2021 when Zero took over Axel's body to destroy the world. But unfortunately we know what happened to this character and I don't think SMG4 will end up like him. Of course, anything can happen, but I see it absurd that he could disappear as well, because besides being also one of the main protagonists of this saga and also the YouTuber, the one who makes these videos, I also want to talk about another thing, which is when the live timer came to the end, SMG4 kicked us out of his room but said the phrase, what are you doing in here, get out. With that, you we might think he was referring to all his members, but he could also be referring to a particular character who was following and spying on what SMG4 was doing. It could be a character that we already know about or it could also be a new character that we will find out during the new movie. In this movie, we will definitely have a confrontation between the YouTuber and his friends to save the world, however, no one is telling us that a new arc could start from the movie, which is an almost impossible theory, but we should not overlook anything. This will be one of the most beautiful movies SMG4 has ever created, it will definitely be full of spoilers and surprises that we will definitely not expect. Just like the new designs of some characters that was totally unexpected. However, I am curious to find out what SMG4 wants to do and its perfect video. There are plenty of other theories, certainly mine is a bit more convoluted than the others. But I think it makes sense and has a logical thread that leads us to think about old episodes and events that happened in SMG4 videos. If you who are watching have any theories about what might happen in the new film it's gotta be perfect please write to me below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this new theory, I put a lot of effort into writing long texts and editing these videos well, which I know can be a bit long, but I am really enjoying them. Bye guys, see you in the next video.